Hi guys welcome back to my channel and I hope you enjoy this look because I definitely loved how it turned out it's my day glam look and we should begin to start this look off I'm taking my Maybelline Superstay foundation and I'm going to apply this all over my face with a damp beauty blender and I like this foundation it's a very full coverage if you want it to be so I like that so I just build it up as much as I like and with this that with this damp beauty blender I'm going to go ahead and blend it all over my face anytime I apply any eyeshadow I always prime my eyelids and I always use my soft ochre paint pot by Mac and you guys know this <laughs> after I do that I'm taking this beautiful uh, beige color and uh, this shadow it's literally almost the exact same tone as my skin tone so it's very not that noticeable taking my NYX uh, brown uh, shadow it's called dance the ties I'm going to apply this shade on the crease and just a little bit on the outer V of my eye and I'm ma mainly going to concentrate this on the outer V of my eye and whatever it's left over I'm going to drag it over to the crease here I'm just making sure I blend it very well Taking my Jumbo Pens by NYX and in Milk, I'm going to apply that all over the lid and this is going to be um, a, va a base for my eyeshadow and it's always also going to make my white shadow pop. Once I do that with my ring finger, I'm going to softly blend it out. Taking this white matte shade, I'm going to apply that all over the lid with a flat brush. Going back with the Dance the Tide by NYX, I'm going to apply that on the outer V because of all um, because all of the white shadow covered it up a little bit. So I'm just going to build it up just a tad bit more. I'm also going to apply that white shadow underneath my brow bone or my, um, this is going to be my highlight. Moving on to liner, taking my Physicians Formula uh, Eye Booster in Ultra Black and I love this uh, tip which is amazing for the, for the wing liners and I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my wing liner. I'm going to draw a line all over the lid and I'm going to thicken it as thick as I like. Once I get that line laid down, I'm going to move on to the outer V of my eye and I'm going to draw a line from the end of my eye to the tip of my uh, of my eyebrow and then after I thicken that line as much as I like I'm going to connect that line and start lightly thicken it out towards the center of my eye here I'm just filling in my wing and I'm just even out um, I'm just evening out that outer tail And I'm also dragging that eyeliner all the way to the inner corner of my eye, of the beginning of my eye. Moving on with any black shadow and an angled brush, I'm going to dip that brush into the black shadow. And I'm going to start from the end of my tail of my wing, I'm going to start drawing a straight line just above the crease fold and I'm going to lightly drag it onto the center of the crease but not, not all the way just that outer third part of the eye and I'm just sharply drawing the line on and after that I'm going to, with the same the same brush I'm thickening it and making it more defined and I'm just building up the product very lightly because it's a black eyeshadow it's so hard to uh, remove it if you go overboard so very lightly I'm just building up that line and I'm smoking it out with the same brush with a fluffier brush I'm going to go ahead and blend it away because I don't want any harsh lines so I'm just blending 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 once I blend it to my satisfaction I'm going to move on to the fake lashes and I'm using diamond lash uh, this was on Chinese website that I ordered them from 
and taking my duo eyelash adhesive and dark tone uh, which means it dries dark which is perfect for me I'm just going to place that lash in the center of the eye and then I move on to the outer corner and I set it on the lash line and then I move on to the inner corner and I place it right above my la real lashes same thing here center of the eye fix the tail and fix the front and that's about it and that's it the lashes are done Moving on to concealer to allow our lashes to dry, our lash glue, I'm taking MAC Pro Longwear in NW20 and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes because I have really bad dark circles and then I'm also going to apply whatever it's remaining on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin and I'm also going to apply that on my forehead. I'm using this to conceal and highlight at the same time and with the same foundation beauty blender I'm going to blend that out. Once the concealer is all nicely blended, I'm going to set that with my NARS translucent powder and this one is translucent crystal and I'm just going to apply this fine, fine powder underneath where I applied, literally where I applied all my concealer and this is just going to set the concealer and allow me to wear it all day, all night and it lasts me forever and it also doesn't crease. I love this powder so much, it's so good. Anyways, because this powder is um, very kind of, it's it reflects the light a lot, so I want to tone it down a little bit because I don't want to look like clown face from underneath my eyes. I, I usually like pairing this translucent powder with my Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals um, light powder, and this is like a yellow banana-ish, banana powder. It's hard to explain, but it's so nice. It gives that dewy under eye highlight flawless look which is my favorite to mix the translucent powder with this bare minerals minerals powder in light so as you can see I'm going to apply that underneath just underneath the eyes moving on to the lash line taking dense to tide by NYX the same brown color that we applied on the crease I'm just going to apply that on my bottom lash line using a smudge pen I'm going to blend that out and smudge it away Taking the same dark shadow that I took that I applied on my upper lid, I'm going to apply that just on the outer third third of the eye and um, with the same angle brush. Next, moving on to liner, I'm using this nude pen by NARS and I'm just going to apply that on my waterline. Following that, taking any black eyeliner, I'm going to tight line my upper waterline and I do this because it makes my real lashes blend with my fake lashes and it also makes the illusion of a thicker upper lashes. To finish up the lashes, I'm using telescopic L'Oreal's telescopic mascara and I'm going to blend my false lashes with my real lashes. And I'm, also going to, I'm also going to coat my bottom lashes to give that um, long lashes effect so far this is what the eye looks we're not all we're not all done yet almost I'm moving on to the inner corner highlight I'm taking foxy by the naked 2 palette and I'm just going to lightly apply that on the inner tear duct area and this is going to bring some light and it's gonna make us make our eyes look more awake and this is the finished eye look and I really like how it turned out I hope you guys do too and it's very easy I know it seems hard but once you do it every day or you get used to it it really becomes super easy moving on to the face taking to the bronzer taking max give me sun and I'm going to give myself some sun <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, I'm just going to apply that on the cheekbones of my uh, face because I am so pale. I'm going to give myself some color. I'm not contouring with this. I'm just applying that as a transition shade between the um, between that and the bronzer because I don't want it to be so harsh. So with a big fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and just apply that all over my face just to give myself some color. Taking Powder uh, Fix, um, it's, I don't know, it's this new brand that I just discovered. I'm going to apply this beautiful bronzer with a more dense brush and I'm just going to apply that underneath that uh, up the cheekbone because I want that cheekbone to really be defined. And I'm also going to apply that on the sides of my forehead 
literally exactly the same places where I applied Give Me Some by MAC. And I'm just defining and making myself to have more structure and more prominent cheekbones. Going back with the big fluffy brush, I'm going to blend all the colors together, all the bronzers together, just because I don't want to look cakey and I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm just blending it all away. For highlight today, I'm using my Max uh, Light Escapade, and this one is a beautiful white golden shimmery highlight, and it's one of my favorite. I did a swatch for you guys right there. And I'm just taking that with a small fan brush, and I'm going to apply that on the highest points of my cheeks, where the light naturally hits my face, which are the apples of my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow, and here I'm applying it with the finger for a more precise application. For lips today, I'm using Rimmel London and the shade 103, and I'm just going to apply that lightly on all over my lips. Once the lipstick is on, I am done with the look. I hope you guys enjoy this, and this is totally wearable for an everyday look. Thank you for much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next tutorial. Yes, I